Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about logarithmic functions. So logarithmic functions. So I'm going to show you what it actually is and where it comes from. So if you look at the graph of say um, b to the x, f of x equals b to the x. So I'm going to draw it over here. Here's the y-axis. Here's the x-axis, okay? And um, it has a horizontal asymptote, and it looks like this. That's b to the x. So this graph passes the horizontal line test, so it has an inverse, right? So what happened was um, that people couldn't find the inverse. They tried to do it, and they couldn't do it. So what they did was they made one up. <laughs> they literally made up an inverse, okay? And so the inverse function, it turns out, if you graph a function in its inverse, they're symmetric about, the, about this line, y equals x. So if you flip this graph across this line, you get this function here. So this function here, this one here, I'll use a different color, this one is called the logarithmic function. So this one's called log base b of x. This is the logarithmic function, logarithmic function with base b. And what is it? It's a made up function. Someone made it up. It's the inverse of b to the x. Okay. Before calculators, there's books. They sell. They still sell them, I guess. And they tell you how to compute the values of logs. Now we have calculators and tricks so we can do those things instead of using the book. But back in the day before calculators, apparently people used books to compute the values of this made up function. So log base b of x, let me write it again over here, is called the logarithmic function with base b. For our purposes, b will always be bigger than 1. And whenever b is bigger than 1, uh, the graph is going to look just like this. Okay, They'll all look roughly the same. The bigger the base, the flatter it becomes. There's one very, very, very important fact that you can get from the fact that they're inverses. And it's the following. I'm going to write it like this. If you have y equals log base b of x. This is the same as b to the y equals x. You might say, whoa, how am I ever going to memorize that? I'll show you. First let me explain it, and then I'll show you how to memorize it. So the logarithmic function is the inverse of the exponential function, the b over here on the right. So the log takes x and gives you y. So the exponential function takes y and gives you back x, because they're inverse functions and they undo each other. Again, the logarithm takes x and sends it to y. So the exponential function undoes that. So it takes y and sends it back to x. So how do you memorize this? Well, like this. b to the y, b to the y equals x. Let's do some examples of practicing all this stuff. Before we do, though, just a couple comments. So b is the base. x, this is the argument. And y, this is called the logarithm. y is the logarithm. OK, so let's do some, some simple examples. Say we have um, log base 2 of 8 equals 3. And this is, this is in logarithmic form, so logarithmic form. And say we want to write it in exponential form. So what you would do is you look at the 2. So it's 2 to the 3 equals 8. That's it. Done. So it's 2 to the 3 equals 8. What if instead we had um, log base 3 of 9 equals 2. And again, this is the logarithmic form, and we want to write it in exponential form. So the base is 3, so it would be 3 to the 2, 3 to the 2 equals 9. So that's how you go from, from logarithmic to, to exponential. Let's go backwards. Let's go backwards. Say we're, um, Say we have something like this. Say we have 3 
to the fourth is 81. And we want to write this in logarithmic form. So to write this in logarithmic form, what we would do is we would start with the four. Remember, the four is, your lo is the exponent, right? So the logarithm is the exponent. That's how I do these. The logarithm is the exponent. So four is equal to log, and the base is three, and there's only one place left to put the 81. Let's do another one. Say we have w to the x equals p. Make it hard. So again, the logarithm is the exponent. So x equals log. Okay. The base is w, and there's only one place left to put the p. Okay. So it's a little bit harder. If you remember that the logarithm is the exponent, you can do it every time. Okay. Um, let me do one more. One more. Say we had. I use different letters. L to the t equals k. We want to write this in logarithmic form. As, it, as it's written now, it's an exponential. So t is the logarithm. So t equals log. Okay, the base is the fancy L, and only one place left to put the k. So remember, the, the logarithm is the exponent. So that's it for this video. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you how to compute values. Um, Logs take a lot of practice, so I hope that made sense.